Hi guys, this is Dan. Welcome to Engelgeist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. This is an all signs daily forecast for the collective. It is spoken in broad terms. You have to figure out where or if it fits in your life. It is originally created for Friday the 15th of April. It is not solely set for that date, though. If you're watching it on a different date and it still makes sense to your situation or you can relate it to something going on in your life, please feel free to utilize it to support you and give you validation in your decision making, but don't allow it to make the decisions for you, okay? Please check out the drop-down menu underneath the video on any of my daily readings because I want you to understand a little bit about how I want you to you know, use the channel and also kind of um, uh, how to support the channel if you're interested in doing that if you like my work. I would greatly appreciate it. Ways you can support is by hitting that thumbs up button, by subscribing, by telling other people about my channel or posting it on your social media, by leaving me a question or comment. I do read them all and I appreciate all of them. And um, that's all great ways. You can also book a private reading and all of that information is in there. Um, how to pay is via PayPal. It's done usually over the phone. It's fairly simple. So um, that's all available to you also. So let's get into these cards. You will hear me referring back to the underpinning energy, which is Sunday's reading. That will populate in the lower left-hand corner at the end of this reading. If you're interested in seeing that reading and understanding what I'm talking about, it's like the underpinning layer of kind of what's going on for all of us. Also, it adds just a little bit more depth to each daily reading. I kind of try and fold it back into what we predicted or saw for the forecast on Sunday. Remember, too, that each of you are going to experience this maybe around a different situation. So um, if what I'm saying applies, let it fly, so to speak. If it doesn't apply, that's okay. It doesn't mean anything's wrong or broken. You just might be working on something different at this time. So don't worry about that. So let's see what the cards want us to know today. <sighs> I'm doing these a little bit early because I have a bunch of early morning appointments this week, which is not normal for me. And so I'm kind of having to do these a few days ahead. I feel a little bit out of sync. So just bear with me, guys. Okay. So our car. Wow, still more cups energy. Nine of cups, guys. I like that we're seeing all of this cups energy. Um, it takes me to, all right, Nine of Cups is about kind of having all of our ducks in a row, feeling uh, sort of complete or finished with a situation. It's always, Nines to me are always about personal completions within a situation, but there's a joy or a freedom to this. And earlier in the week, aside from the Cups, because we've seen the, the Knight of Cups, the Three of Cups, and now the Nine of Cups, there's a lot of what I think is emotional work going on for us, obviously, because Cups represent the emotions in water, Right. But there's like a freedom that's happening here. But prior to all of this cups energy this week, we had that, um, uh, what was it? The judgment card, which is uh, associated with the sign of Scorpio, which is, again, water, emotions, intuition, deep-seated emotions, transformative emotions, right? And sort of the, the choice of how we maybe relate to them. We also saw in the midweek card, which we're now transferring more into the uh, end of the week card, which is the devil, right? In the underpinning energy. So the devil is going to force us to look at some stuff, right? He's going to force us to kind of see where we're, where our Achilles heel is, where we need to maybe shore up our strengths or look at our frailties, not necessarily judging ourselves or harming ourselves, but like, um, you know, maybe being more aware of where we could use a little work. Um, that's kind of how I will balance the devil out with all of this. Because the thing is, is in the midweek, we had that beautiful card, the hermit, which is about going inward, learning about the light and the truth within. Here she is like shining that light out, right? Emotionally feeling like, well, okay, maybe releasing ourselves from a situation, maybe releasing ourselves from a situation emotionally that is charged like the devil would be, right? The devil oftentimes indicates like situations that were stuck within that we're a slave to or enslaved to through either addictions or, you know, old patterns, behaviors that no longer work for us. Really, I mean, if you want to look at it, the devil can be beneficial in the sense that he kind of opens us up to the idea of, oh, shit, this needs to change, right? This is not working for us. Um, and to me, this nine of cups says, okay, emotionally, we're maybe taking responsibility for where we're at and going like, you know what? I don't need this or I don't deserve this or I don't need to engage in this any longer. 
I don't need to allow it to affect me in the way that it does. And this, and like I said, this is broad spectrum reading. So each one of you are, is going to experience this sort of um, liberation because she is definitely liberating herself, I feel, emotionally. And there's a treasure chest at her feet. Like, look at that. I love it. Um, this liberation, you're going to experience it differently around a certain person, situation, whatever's going on in your life that you've maybe felt sort of stuck in. I think with the hermit of the midweek, there's a realization that takes place. There's an appreciation and a shift into gratitude and love or compassion. Maybe if it's even only just compassion for ourselves and a newfound appreciation and, and a willingness to emotionally protect ourselves, right? We're no longer going to do what we've been doing or what's maybe been causing us to feel unsteady, unsure, trapped. That's all devil energy, right? That, um, you know, questioning, doubtful, uh, hankery, <laughs> quite frankly, right? It keeps us kind of on our toes and not sure of ourselves. And I feel like this is like combating that um, because we do have the depth of the hermit from the midweek. Right. So the depth of the hermit is going to bring us that knowledge about ourselves. And then we have to put that knowledge to like practical, emotional application. And that's what we're doing through this nine of cups as we face down whatever our devils may be, whatever our demons may be. Right. And our demons generally like uh, versus using the word devil, our demons usually once we sit with them are never as bad as they seem is my understanding, or at least it's been my understanding in my life. I can't say for everyone. Some of you may have stuff that is bigger than you're able to deal with. And of course, you would want to, you know, handle those situations carefully. But for the most part, I feel like there is a freedom that's happening here. There's a release that's happening here. There's a, a coming back to whole that's happening here. Um, feeling fulfilled, feeling um, optimistic, feeling uh, buoyant, right? Even in the face of maybe some adversity, which would be the devil. Um, even in the face of challenges that maybe have challenged us or, you know, situations that we might love or care deeply about, the devil can also represent that, you know, it could be love situations where we're addicted to another person or their love or the need for their love, like, completes us in some way. And I feel like that's not necessarily maybe where uh, we're going with this or this nine of cups speaks to the ownership of that emotionally, the awareness of that and the sort of um freedom from that if that makes sense right so whatever is like hovering over us or lurking behind us or the thing that we don't want to look at i think we're being challenged to look at it and own our part in it but as we own that we liberate ourselves or we give ourselves that freedom to wise up again and understand that we're okay you know that it's all going to be okay um so let's see what the sacred forest oracle has to say and remember this week is the stone for this week that we're supposed to be grounding in is believe right so do we believe in ourselves do we believe in our ability to handle situations differently or relate to situations emotionally in a different more empowered independent way that would kind of be the expression that i'm getting from these cards it really feels like we're being you know since the judgment card in the early part of the week we're being asked to kind of shift and maybe take control of our emotional well-being and how we relate to situations and to choose consciously to do it from a much more um, compassionate, benevolent, loving, connected place in acceptance of ourselves. Therefore, we can then accept others in the situation that's going on around them, right? Rather than fighting against it. All right, so let's look at... Oh, this is a new one. Cool, I love it. It's Bluebell Fairy. Card number six, six is are about maintaining balance or being restored back to balance. Bluebell fairy is, the word is gratitude. I love all of the lavender flowers. To me, that definitely brings a sense of ease and peace, right? Lavender helps us to relax and sleep. I don't know much about the blue, or maybe those are bluebells. I think it's lavender. I'm going to go with lavender. <laughs> um, let's see what the bluebell fairy has to say to us this morning. Because I've not seen this card. It's new to me. So let's see, let's see. Let me read you the story. Okay, gratitude. The early morning forest is shrouded in low-lying mists. As you step into the meadow, you glimpse heavenly blue flowers seeming to float about the mist. Their deep color draws you closer. Each bell-shaped blossom bows down on its stem as if in prayer, humility, or gratitude. Gratitude is the secret to a joy-filled life. Joy was one of our grounding stones this week, too, guys. 
True thankfulness can work like modern day alchemy, yielding happiness and peace beyond imagination. And it's so simple. Find what's good and wonderful in every moment, no matter what's happening around you. There's always something to be grateful for. Whatever you appreciate in life will grow, so discover what you're thankful for. Even the people and situations you found challenging, and watch miracles unfold. The universe is grateful for you. Appreciation is er for everything flows through you in great bounty. And that's sort of also the three of cups that we saw yesterday, guys. Cherish the preciousness of life and everyone and everything around you and miracles will abound. In addition to gratitude, bluebells are thought to symbolize humility. As you step into the soft, gentle energy of humbleness, you'll find that your gratitude for even the smallest things in life expands. Bluebells open the door to magic. Legends describe ringing the bluebell like you would a bell in order to bring fairies to you. In the spring, bluebells grow throughout the wood, woodlands in a lush carpet, and you can feel the magic simply by being near. The spirit of the bluebell, fa bluebell fairy says, The more gratitude that you have, the more bounty will fill your life. Cherish the pre preciousness of all things, and joy will fill your life. The universe is thankful for you. With this Nine of Cups, I also think that we can also be thankful for ourselves and whatever transformation is taking place within us emotionally. Um, be gra in great gratitude of that also and appreciation of that, and allow that to grow, is my feeling. So let's look to the grounding stone and see what we are to ground in. Okay, I'll take it. It's on Carnelian which is associated with the first chakra, so it really wants us to ground in. It also, I like the red color of the carnelian stone for Aries season because Aries is a fire sign. We are approaching sort of the end of Aries season, but, you know, any last-minute kicks or actions, um, desires, whatever we need to get in during the creativity of the Aries season, now would be the time. The idea is to... Um, you know, ground in the miracles, the small things that maybe, you know, we need to find gratitude for. They are many miracles. Uh, seeking them out today, being grateful for them, feeling emotionally whole and accepting of them, understanding that at some level we deserve the very treasure that's here at her feet, right? And so giving ourselves that treasure, believing in ourselves, right? Remember, believe is the other um, grounding stone underneath this. So believing in miracles, believing that miracles can happen for us, that we deserve them and that, you know, um, we can find appreciation and gratitude for them to bring more of them into our lives. That's really the power of today's reading, even if there is some devil energy around, even if there is some contrast or some fight, push, pull, whatever you want to call it. Don't let that overwhelm you. Don't let that necessarily take over. Sometimes when we can find gratitude or appreciation or seek the miracles within the face of adversity, i.e. that devil card or the challenge, that's when it's almost even like doubly powerful or doubly um, significant because we're seeking or looking beyond what is the actual reality or what is you know, the experience, the physical experience that we might be having with others that may be challenging to us. We're actually choosing something more whole, better, a fresher perspective. It's a conscious choice, guys. And that to me is a powerful thing, right? When we choose to meditate or focus on what's working rather than what's not. And for some of you, there may be a lot of not working right now or things not working around you if that devil card is present and showing up in a negative way in your life. But it doesn't have to be your full and total experience is what these cards are saying. Grounding those miracles today, you guys. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and um, share the video out. Leave a question or comment, and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, and just love yourself and be grateful for that, guys. All right, take care. Bye-bye.